Lots of things we want to talk to you about, but I want to start with some distressing footage. Now, I'm going to warn people who can see this. It is incredibly uh, depressing and quite worrying. It's footage circulating on social media from Manchester Airport showing a suspect, we're watching it right now, being tasered by police before, with the greatest of respect, having his head kicked in and being stamped upon. Now, you can also see, uh, if I can explain it to you, it's awful. The second man on the bench can also be seen being shouted at by the officer to get on the floor before being kicked and strongly mishandled as well. It's really, really graphic, Mike. It's pretty un, uh, it's unedifying in every sense. It's understood now that the officers were responding to an altercation between members of the public at Terminal 2 at Manchester Airport last night when one of the suspects attacked one of the officers. But if you're watching what I'm watching, with a police officer kicking somebody in their head and stamping on them, you would understand the questions are now being asked about reasonable force and proportionality. Now, the Greater Manchester Police Officer claim, this is their claim, that officers feared that the alleged attackers could have taken or used their guns. They were armed officers and their excuse for stamping on a man's head and kicking him repeatedly, I would be utterly shocked if he wasn't severely injured as a result, I could be wrong, was, as I say, as the attending officers were firearm officers, there was a clear risk, say GMP, that this assault, their weapons could have been taken them. Four men were arrested at the scene for a fray. We acknowledge, though, says GMP, the concerns of the conduct within the video and our professional standards directorate are assessing it. Mike Neville... We spend a lot of time criticising certain parts of the police when the public see videos like this appalling. What's your thoughts? Yes, at first sight. I mean, the, we don't know the full context, and but, Jeremy, this is just... The video looks awful, doesn't it? The, 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 the way the man's head bounces off the, you know, the boots. I mean, one of my areas of expertise was cctv and showing crimes in action and, and when you, if you say to somebody somebody got kicked in the head that's one thing when you see it it, it just looks appalling you know it just looks too much he kicks I mean, it I in his head as you said flies everywhere and then he stamps on his head twice now listen we came into the office, Ricky had this, we're, we're all talking about it, and let's be perfectly honest, we're thinking, if that was a terrorist, if you were concerned about a, a, a person with a weapon or maybe an explosive, with everything that's gone on, you might go, I get that. As it turns out, these people have been arrested at the scene for a fray. I mean, I have to ask you, police brutality or reasonable force. You're an ex-Met police officer. I would look at that. I would say that is massively distressing, massively brutal, and does not picture the police in any good way at all, Mike Neville. Well, I'm sorry, Jeremy, I'm with you, you know, in the sense that it, it's some things you can justify, some things you can say officers are under stress, you know, as you said, it's that they were thought there was a terrorist attack, they thought there was a suicide bomber, but it's not like that at all. It seems to be people having a scrap at the airport, you know, the context of where they're from or who they are seems quite irrelevant here. And it's just, it's just awful. I mean, myself, myself and a friend were actually in an Uber in London and we were stopped. The driver was stopped by some firearms officers and I've never seen such nasty officers ever. We, they, they were, they're absolutely brutal to the driver and they were rude to me. I said, I'm a retired senior officer. And they just said, well, we don't care who you are. You know, and it just, it was truly shocking. And my friend said to me, he's not a police officer. He said, those people were just bullies. The problem, with this, the things... problem with this footage, which is incredibly uh, distressing, we're playing it on a loop here, just to repeat for people who are listening on the radio. This happened last night, Terminal 2 of Manchester Airport. There were four suspects. They were accused later of a fray. The police, the GMP, say attending officers were firearms officers and there was a clear risk during this assault that their firearms could be taken. Right, I'll accept that. Apparently one of them attacked a police officer. But you put handcuffs on. What you can't see if you're only listening to this on the radio is a police officer literally kicking this guy's head, which flies sideways, and then stamping on his head twice. And a female police officer turning, and she looks to me to be very distressed pleading with the person to stop filming on their camera. I think this is a major problem. And what it does, of course, do, Mike, is it causes a problem. For all the good policemen and women who do a great job, they will see this and certain members of the public will go, that is complete br police brutality, that is not reasonable force, that is a disgrace. And I'd love, by the way, for people who are listening or watching, what do you make of this? 0344 uh, 1000 text to 8722. We have to call it out, Mike Neville, don't we? We have to. 
Yes, you have to. You have to be honest about this. For every thousand good police officers, there's a few who are not good at all. And this looks utterly dreadful. It looks nasty. It looks horrible. And to be quite honest, Jeremy, the, the force of the kick, that could have broken somebody's neck. It is absolutely Dreadful. Listen to this, Matt in Newport. He said, I've seen it. And if they, the, the police, think they could get away with that level of brutality in public, it begs the question, what on earth are they doing in private? Uh, he says, uh, that footage of that copper kicking that person and stamping on his head is beyond awful. Um, uh, amazing. Listen, I, 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 I want to know what people think. I, I mean, I don't know where that leaves the police. There has been rightful criticism, right? But that... To me, and I, I'm not there, I'm watching this, if you're telling me that is not brutality, somebody's going to get on the phone and say, come on, you need to be really careful, Jez. This guy is stamping on a man's head. Uh, after breaking the nose... Paul Jones says, after breaking the nose of a female officer, people need to respect the police or get shown you can't get away with it. And the loop you're showing is out of context. All right, well, we'll consider that. Had he broken a, a female police officer's nose? If that's the case, we'll keep you ready. Ricky, go and have a look at that. We'll try and sort it out. But the visuals, Mike Neville, the optics on that are absolutely appalling, aren't they? That's right, because what the public see is simply that. You know, yeah. it's all right saying, oh, something might have happened, but the facts are this will be replayed on social media time and time again. And trust and confidence in the police is absolutely at rock bottom. And there's one thing about the police you've got to be controlled, especially if you're a firearms officer. Everything you do, if you fire a shot, everything will be examined. If you use a taser, everything will be examined. But to be quite honest, they can, you can justify sometimes shooting somebody, you can justify tasering people, but it's very, very difficult to justify kicking somebody in the head and then stamping on them. You could have justified in some sort, as I say, pulling a, pulling the trigger and killing somebody. That's what police officers have to do. They're brave, they have to make difficult decisions, but they don't have to kick people in the head.